you don't want to end up in any of these places. For this list, we'll be looking at infamous prisons that are notorious for their violence and poor living conditions. Our countdown includes San Quentin State Prison, Bangkwang Central Prison, Alcatraz, and more. Top 10 Toughest Prisons in the World Welcome to Chimo Media, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 toughest prisons in the world. For this list, we'll be looking at infamous prisons that are notorious for their violence and poor living conditions. Which prison do you think looks the scariest? Let us know in the comments below. The perception of the most dangerous prisons can vary, but some notorious ones include ADX Florence, USA, La Sabaneta, Venezuela, Tadmor Prison, Syria, and Carandiru Penitentiary, Brazil. These facilities are known for their harsh conditions and high levels of violence among inmates. Keep in mind that rankings may change over time, and conditions can be complex and multifaceted. Number 10 La Santé Prison. Located Paris grapples with persistent hardships, notably overcrowding and aged infrastructure. Built in the late 19th century, the facility houses double its intended capacity, leading to tense living conditions and security challenges. Inmates endure substandard health care, hygiene issues, and violence. Notable escapes underscore security lapses, while the prison's outdated structure hinders modern rehabilitation efforts. Staffing shortages exacerbate these problems. Despite reform attempts, La Santé remains emblematic of broader challenges within the French penal system, necessitating comprehensive changes to address overcrowding, enhance security, and invest in rehabilitation programs for a more humane and effective approach to incarceration. Number 9. Bang Quang Central Prison, located in Thailand, shares parallels with La Santé Prison in facing enduring hardships. Known as the Bangkok Hilton, it grapples with severe overcrowding, dated infrastructure, and challenging living conditions for inmates. The prison's strict regime, coupled with limited resources, poses significant difficulties. Inmates often face harsh realities, including inadequate health care, high security measures, and a lack of modern rehabilitation programs. Notable for its strict enforcement of the death penalty, Bang Kwong reflects broader issues within Thailand's penal system, emphasizing the need for comprehensive reforms to ensure humane and effective incarceration practices. Number 8. Diyarbakir Prison, located in Turkey, has a complex history marked by controversies and hardships. Known for its role in detaining political prisoners, the facility has faced criticism for overcrowding, inadequate conditions, and allegations of human rights abuses. It gained notoriety during the 1980s for its treatment of Kurdish detainees. Despite some improvements and attempts at reform, Diyarbakir Prison remains emblematic of challenges within Turkey's criminal justice system, highlighting the ongoing need for comprehensive changes to ensure humane treatment and respect for human rights in detention facilities. Number 7. Sabaneta Prison this prison in Maracaibo, Venezuela was an extremely violent prison that operated from 1958 to 2013. Built to house just 700 prisoners, Sabaneta was home to 3,700 by the time it closed in the early 2010s. The prison was entirely run by the inmates themselves, complete with a hierarchy of gangs and leaders known as Prans. One of the Prans was Moko Edwin, a man who had committed triple homicide in the late 2000s. Naturally, the prison was rife with violence. In 1994, inmates intentionally started a fire and killed those who tried to escape, reportedly resulting in over 150 deaths. In 2013, the final year of the prison's operation, 69 prisoners were killed by other inmates. Number 6. ADX Florence. Located in the Fremont County of Colorado, ADX Florence is a supermax prison, one level higher than maximum security, and housing the absolute worst criminals in the country. These criminals are often extremely violent and typically pose a serious threat to prison staff, other inmates, or even national security. Florence houses just 359 prisoners, each of whom is kept in a small concrete cell for 23 hours a day. Mental health often deteriorates inside the cells, and at least eight inmates have apparently committed suicide over the years. Some of the prison's most notable inmates include the 1993 World Trade Center bombers, numerous terrorists with links to Al-Qaeda, the Boston Marathon bomber, the Unabomber, Terry Nichols of the Oklahoma City bombing, and Mexican drug lord El Chapo. Number 5. Carindaru Penitentiary. Built back in 1920, Brazil's Carindaru was once South America's largest prison, housing more than 8,000 inmates. The prison was infamous for its poor quality of life, rampant health issues, and numerous human rights violations. 
The latter eventually culminated in the Karindaru massacre. The event began after a game of football, as a fight between two teams escalated into a chaotic prison riot. The military police were called in and proceeded to massacre the inmates, many of whom were unarmed and killed in defensive positions. By the end of the riot, 111 prisoners were dead, riddled with 515 bullets in total. Over 60 police officers were convicted for their crimes, but the trials have since been deemed null. Number 4, Mahanga Prison. Formerly known as Jitarama Prison, Rwanda's Mahanga Prison was built to house just 400 prisoners, but ended up housing 7,000. As you can image, living conditions inside the prison are deplorable, and many prisoners suffer from gangrene owing to the filthy accommodations. Given that they're often forced to stand all day on the wet and dirty ground, the health complications are many and severe. There have even been reports of cannibalism. Richard Troyan of the International Committee of the Red Cross has succinctly stated, quote, the conditions here are completely inhumane. Number 3, San Quentin State Prison. Serving as the oldest prison in California, San Quentin was opened in 1852 and remains one of the United States' most infamous penitentiaries. It's known as the most populous death row in the country, with the New York Times even deeming it, quote, the largest in the Western Hemisphere. Since 1893, over 400 people have been put to death at San Quentin. It's housed some of the most dangerous men in America, including Charles Manson, Richard Ramirez, and Richard Chase. The prison is also notable for being extremely old, outdated, and dirty, with prisoners receiving poor health care. Number 2. Alcatraz. Although it closed all the way back in 1963, Alcatraz was notorious in its time and remains one of the most iconic prisons in the world owing to its reputation and unique setting. Located on Alcatraz Island just off San Francisco, the prison's remote and secluded location made it the perfect place to house high-risk and dangerous criminals. Life inside the prison was said to be hell, with many prisoners going insane and committing suicide owing to the relentless violence and poor living conditions. It eventually gained the nickname, Hellcatraz, owing to its reputation, and it housed some of the most notorious criminals of its day, including Al Capone, Mickey Cohen, Machine Gun Kelly, and Robert Stroud, Acker the Birdman of Alcatraz. Number 1, Guantanamo Bay. Located off the coast of Cuba, Guantanamo Bay was opened in 2002 under the direction of President Bush. Following the September 11 attacks, Bush initiated the War on Terror and opened Guantanamo Bay to serve as a military prison. The prison has received widespread criticism for indefinite detention without trial and the routine use of torture, including waterboarding and sexual abuse. There have also been reports of several suicides and of numerous suicide attempts. Under the Obama administration, the number of inmates was reduced, however, Guantanamo Bay remains open. Amnesty International has called the prison a major human rights violation, describing it as quote, the gulag of our times. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and leave your feedback in the comments section.